Okay, this is just going to be a uh, quick tutorial on how to use a uh, software product called Krita to produce a transparent overlay for OBS. So basically, I've already created my overlay that I want to have on screen, and I've done so by animating the individual frames as is the requirement in the Krita software package. Uh, I've only got uh, 36 frames to go through, and it is at a frame rate of 24 frames per second. So what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to go to File and Render Animation. And when I go to render this, I can either render it as an image sequence, as a video, or as a combination of both. But I'm going to be rendering this as an image sequence of PNG images such that I can set the quality and uh, set the transparency as required. Now what's uh, important to note here is that the current version of Krita that I'm using does not support output to a transparent format on version 4.0.1. This may be updated in a future build. So I'm going to export the image sequence to a uh, directory that I call temporary frames and uh, base name of the files are going to be frame and there's going to be some number, it's going to be four digits. So let's just go ahead and render that. Alright, and now that we have that rendered we can uh, open up the directory and we can see that it's rendered all the frames out from 0 to 36. Now what we're going to be doing uh, after this is we're going to be stitching these together into a video file and that video file is going to have a transparent background. However, since we cannot do that directly from Krita, we're going to have to use a different software product. This one's going to be called FFmpeg. And uh, basically I have it downloaded into this folder. Uh, the command is going to look something like FFmpeg-R. This is going to be the rate at which it's uh, reading the files. These are, this is your input file name. Percent sign 4D means that it's reading a sequence of images. Uh, this is going to be your video format. libvpx is an open source format that supports uh, alpha channel on the video output. The bit rate is going to be at 1 megabit per second. Uh, audio, auto alt ref, we're just going to set that to zero because it's not uh, supported. And our pixel format is going to be yuva420p, that's the uh, color format that it's exporting the video to. And uh, we want to have YUVA such that it supports an alpha channel, and our output is going to be in the WebM format. So let's just go ahead and run this real quick. And now that that's completed, we can go into our FFmpeg folder and we'll find that we have our output, which is a size of about 331 kilobytes. Now we're going to start using that as an overlay in OBS, which I'll bring into the screen right now. So currently we're capturing a display on OBS, but we want to have that overlay that we just created. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a media source. Uh, technically speaking, a VLC video source should work. However, in my experience, the VLC video source has never been able to uh, appropriately implement the alpha channel. So we're going to use a media source. Let's call that by the default name. We're going to have it loop because uh, this is going to be a persistent overlay that's going to be looping itself. And uh, for the image, I'm just going to go into our image folder here. We're going to grab the output test that we just saved. Click OK. And uh, let's do a quick transition. And as you can see, the uh, video overlay is working exactly as expected. We have a yellow circle around the colors. We have a red box around tools, green box around the layer options, and around the animation options down here at the bottom. We have a blue box, and uh, just in the middle of the screen there, we have a, uh, a little face that I drew. This transparent overlay can basically be used in uh, any software that supports a uh, transparent video format uh, as an overlay to any of the video content in behind it. So you could use OBS, XSplit, anything like that. Uh, so this is just a quick example on how to make a transparent uh, video overlay using uh, Krita software. This is version 4.0.1. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Arlington Matrix. Have a good day.